Hey everybody, I'm back again. I got my food out of the oven and I had to show you because of course I have it kind of looking nice because I did a Snapchat post, not, a, not an Instagram post. But do you see that this is my perfect post-workout meal? I can't tilt it up too much. So I have steak, broccoli with herbed butter, and sweet potato fries, which I'm gonna eat while I'm talking to you because now I'm different and I realize I can't, in my old life, this will be another topic, but in my old life, I used to work out and allow myself to get so distracted, just fussing around the house, laundry, talking to my mom, you know, whatever. And it would be like an hour and a half after I'd worked out and I'm just getting something to eat. It's really key and that's the topic of my video today. I need to tell you about this. this. After 75, in two seconds. It's really key if you want to build muscle, but also if you want to lean out, ladies. If you want to lean out and get the fat off your body so you can have toned arms, or if you want to get more. I've always appreciated uh, a very muscular physique on men and women, and that's what I aspire to, but I understand some women, they don't like that. Either way, if you want to get the fat off your body and even have a more toned look versus, you know, whatever you want to call it, swole, get ripped, whatever. Um, you still have to eat. And I just had two conversations in the past week. I probably shouldn't be eating, but I'm going to. Last night I was out with two of my friends, uh, one of my neighbors, and she was talking about ordering another drink. She's like, I've got to be careful because I'm really focusing on not eating. And I'm like, hold up there, lady. What are you talking about? She's like, I'm trying to really limit what I'm eating so I can lose some weight and watch my diabetes. And I'm like, I mean, that was my look. Like, And the week before, actually it was two weeks before, I had a very similar conversation with a man. And he was saying, so what my friend Patty was saying was, I kid you not. I said, what? She goes, I'm just trying to hit certain calories per day. And I said, okay, what are you trying to hit? She goes, 800 calories. I'm like, are you trying to like get mono or I, what? And then this guy that I was talking to, he's, I don't know, I'm 5'5". Five, five. I'm guessing he was like 5'9". Um, and I'm trying to think of what he, I don't think he told me what he weighed. But he told me he was aiming for 1,500 calories a day. And I'm like, I'm talking to this guy and, I, and he's telling me how much he's working out. And of course, what do you think he's doing for all his workouts? Cardio, running, going to the gym, getting on the elliptical, and doing a lot of running and eating very low. What do you think my friend Patty's doing? Now my friend Patty does not get a lot of working out in. She, well, she walks a lot, but 800 calories, I looked at both of them and for, for the guy, I'm like, dude, 1500 calories, I eat more than that. And I'm a chick, I'm not as tall as you, I don't have as much body mass as you, and I'm also doing a lot more lifting. You know, when you do, the, the, the number one tendency for anybody, and I used to be this way unconsciously, I gotta keep eating people, I, think I just spit on myself. Um, it, is, it is an unconscious thing, or sometimes in some of us, it's a conscious thing, to think that if we wanna lose weight, the key, no matter what we're doing, no matter what our diet plan is or our approach, is, steak is so good, is to eat less and then if we think that we're not skinny enough or we're not leaning out enough, we're like, we're always gonna think, maybe I should do like, maybe I should do cardio twice a day. Maybe I should go running more. Maybe instead of running half an hour, I should run 45 minutes. And so it's like, we're punishing our bodies and we're gonna say, let's sweat more, sweat more, because, and I've been the same way, people, in the past. I always had this equivalent in my mind that sweating more, cardio, getting all, all sweaty, that equals fat burning, and so if I'm not burning enough fat, I'm, I must be eating too much, and I've gotta burn more off, okay? How many of you felt that way? And here's what's funny. When I say how many of you felt that way, this is where I'm so used to being on Periscope, and people can actually respond to me. 
when I'm shooting a video. That's one of the nice things about Periscope. So you guys have to leave your comments in the comment bar, and I really hope you will, because that to me has really become the great thing about social media, is, is engaging with my audience, not just doing like, let me put up videos and spout off to you. Um, this is gonna be so good, I can't wait to taste this herb butter. And when I wrap up, I'll tell you about factor, factor 75. This has changed my life with eating, and guess what? Eating enough, and, and when I'm eating enough, and not snacking without, you know, with abandon, without abandon or with abandon, I'm not sure. Um, my body starts leaning out. So I'm sitting there talking to Patty last night. I told her, I go, are you crazy? You should never, ever, ever, no woman should ever go below like, now, don't quote me on this only because let me establish. Those of you that don't follow me know this for a while, but if you stumble on my video and you haven't been following me, I am not a trainer, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a dietitian. So I am not prescribing what anybody should do, but I'm pretty damn sure any doctor, trainer, nutritionist, dietitian, and I'm surrounded by a ton of them in Fitfluential. We've had this discussion myriad times. My trainer, my doctor, anyone. No one's going to tell you you should ever go below 1500 calories. 1200 is pretty close to like being on like weight, wanting to get way too skinny. 1500 calories is what you should be eating to lose weight if you're a woman. Like 800 calories is ridiculous. And what you're doing, it's very weird for me to look at myself in the feedback video part and see that I'm eating, but I'm just doing it anyway. Because I'm, I'm doing what's important. You guys, look, this is my post-workout meal. I'm having fat, I have broccoli, I have sweet potato fries, those are my carbs. I've got a beautiful steak. You see how many calories I have? See that? This meal, 470 calories. You don't see me going, oh my God, 470 calories. Now, the rest of the day, I'll probably have two more meals and a protein shake. No, no random snacking, but I am making sure, I believe most of my days are right about 1,700 calories. Um, I have a good amount of fats, healthy fats right now. We're actually, uh, testing and tweaking how much fat content I should have. Because of the lifestyle and dietary changes I've made, cutting out a lot of, pretty much all of fake foods, cutting out Splenda, cutting out all that stuff, there's a lot more healthy fats in my diet um, from protein, but also from avocado, from coconut oil. I do clarified butter and coconut oil in my coffee every morning, bulletproof coffee. Anyway, what I was telling Patty is, I said, Patty, when you have so drastically cut your calories and you're not really changing, whether she changed her exercise moves or not, 800 calories is not even reaching her basal, what's the word, basal metabolic rate, okay? And I said, you're basically training your body to think that you're starving. And so all the fat that you have on your body, it's gonna cling to because it thinks it's in survival mode. I said, you need to get, and then she said, you know what, it's funny that you're saying that because when I was in the hospital, she's the one I talked about last summer, she went on a vacation girls trip with her friends, got bit by a spider, it ended up getting infected. She was in the hospital for like two months, but in the hospital, they fed her three meals a day and she said she lost 20 pounds, okay? Then she comes back home and goes to She's, this is what she said last night. Never had breakfast, I hate breakfast. You know, so she doesn't eat breakfast, then she eats lunch and barely eats anything when she comes home. Her body is like, is the, is the end of the world coming? It thinks that she's probably gonna be without food forever. This guy that I told you about, same thing. He's like, I have all this weight around my middle and I wanna lose it, so I'm going to the gym, I'm doing running in the morning, elliptical in the evening, and I go, when are you lifting weights? He's like, well, I really don't know what I should be doing there. And I'm like, so all you're doing is excessive cardio and you're eating like a girl. And he's like, come on, come on. And I said, let me ask you this. Are you getting the results that you want? Are you seeing any results? And he's like, no. I have to tell you people, excuse me. One of the biggest changes, I knew that I had a problem in the past with the tendency to um, 
overtrain. I always wanted to do far more working out. I tended to have that mindset of, of what I told you in the beginning of this video, thinking I have fat to lose. That means I, I've got to sweat more. Sweating more is cardio and cardio is burning fat. So I always wanted to do more of that. I would do my weightlifting sessions like, like a Kathy workout or whatever. And then I would add, you know, 40 minutes of typo at the end because my mindset was burn it, burn it, burn it. Well, you, you are, you are burning calories and, and whatnot. I'm not saying like that if you get on a spin bike for an hour that you're not burning calories, that you're not doing great, you know, work for your heart and it feels good. That's also something with cardio that, that I love. I just, I love how it feels to get ridiculously sweaty in a killer workout. I absolutely love how it feels. The biggest change that I made the past year, I gotta zip this up, is I focused on every single week, getting my weight training in first, cardio was the second goal. Seriously. Um, just making sure I don't choke on my YouTube video. For those of you that have been following me for a while, you know, I was always doing my post-workout sweaty vlogs, right? Because I'd done a crap ton of cardio. And sometimes that worked. Most, more often than not, I was burning the candle at both ends because I wasn't eating enough, doing way too much working out. That's just as similar to my friend Patty and this other dude who's like, you know, I'm barely eating anything and I'm just gonna keep doing cardio. Here's the other key thing. I'll go into this in a different video. When you put this beautiful muscle, you're building this muscle underneath the fat that you have. Trust me when I tell you, when the fat starts coming off, you don't have issues like cellulite and flabby, you know, droopy skin. I could not believe how I started looking in the mirror and saw that I did, you know, I don't want to say it's completely gone, but I have next to no cellulite on my thighs. I've lost an inch and a half on my upper thighs. In that saddlebag area, that's what happens when you start building muscle and muscle works for you. But to build muscle, also to lose weight, you have to eat enough. Eating more is probably, for a lot of you, the number one thing you need to focus on. And that's why I cheers to you with my Factor 75 steak. I'll talk about them in another video. Go to factor75.com. These people are in Chicago. I know the founders. They've sponsored me. So I'm getting all of my meals from them. And I'm telling you, I've only been working with them and having these meals for about, I think two weeks now. This is my second week. Excuse me. Now, first of all, it's taken such a huge stress load off of me. I just, I had major issues doing food prep, um, um, excuse me, doing food prep and then, you know, trying to cook and trying to grocery shop. And so I was just ordering sushi all the time. And every time I ordered sushi, it was 50 bucks. I mean, it's just ridiculous. It's pissing my money away and half the time really not eating enough. So in two weeks of just having this only, of course I go shopping for like, um, my bulletproof coffee and stuff like that, but also cutting out snacking on nut butters randomly without like writing down how many times I had nut butter, snacking on plantain chips. These are all things that are very good for me and they're, they're completely in alignment with my dietary, you know, lifestyle now. Problem is I was doing a lot of grazing, not enough solid meals. So I was either heavy fats, heavy carbs, not enough protein. I was out of balance going to just this. I can see my body has leaned out in, I mean like the first 10 days, I could see it, I could feel it, I saw my stomach getting flatter. People, eat more. Eat sensibly, eat portion wise, make sure you're covering a nice balance of macros. Trust me, that's probably gonna be one of the biggest and most significant, impactful changes you can make. Let me know if you have comments below, okay? Or questions in the comments below.